hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's rachel here as always hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing like this video as well so that it is referred to other viewers today we're going to be doing part two of my book set in lagos series it's a two-part series where i really explore and just give you book recommendations of books that are set in lagos if you missed the part one you can click the link in the description box so it will pop out right about now above and you can go and watch that one for more recommendations so i didn't want the video to be too long so i decided to divide it into two parts so we're going to continue with part two and i'm going to give you more recommendations of books set in lagos nigeria let's get started getting right off to it the first recommendation in this second part is nearly all the men in lagos are mad this is a book that came out earlier i think was it this year yes it was earlier this year 2022 right um very very funny hilarious book the title itself drew a lot a lot a lot of attention people that live in lagos people that live outside of lagos people that are nigerians non-nigerians the wider world it was a crazy crazy attention grabbing title i guess there's no better way to put it but yeah that's basically what it was it's a short collection of stories and on a normal day i don't really read a lot of short collection of stories but i've read quite a number that i've actually really liked but i like this one because of course it examines the madness in quote of men that live in lagos and basically just recounts the experiences of what some women have gone through in the hands of lagos men as they say so this is a collection of short stories structured as case studies and a form of love letter in solidarity with the women who have survived romantic relationships with men in lagos it deftly analyzes the various archetypes women are likely to encounter in the dating scene in the city from serial cheaters to mommy's boys from the fake it till you make it adherence to the ones who can't commit this book underscores with wit humor wisdom and sensitivity the perils of trying to find lasting love and companionship in africa's craziest city that will prove universal and illuminating so this one comes from the angle of ro surviving romantic relationships and the different things that in quotes women actually go through it was so real and relatable hum humorous funny but it also showed you lagos in a different light in terms of of the romantic setting and how Lagos could actually be so if you're looking for Lagos in that light maybe not particularly bringing to life Lagos as a city but Lagos and its people and who the people who actually make up Lagos and it actually was set in different parts of Lagos like different stories were set in different parts of Lagos so you might just enjoy this one I actually enjoyed it I don't know why I didn't film a book review on this book on my channel maybe that was when i was in my creative slump and it just helped me get out for a little bit and then i went back into it my next recommendation is the girl with the louding voice by abby Dari. this was a successful global for lack of a better phrase global phenomenon in terms of literature like the whole world knew about this book and i think that a lot of people actually loved the plot loved the writing of the book felt like it was unique it was different of course there were quite a number of stereotypes about lagos that were included in this book which is one of the places where the book is set because it's also set in ikati village which is like a village that is made up and then it's also set in lagos so it really follows the life of aduni who is a young nigerian girl and who just wants to find in quote her louding voice it's so it's such an uplifting book to be honest because i remember when i read it and i remember how i felt like you wanted to cry with her you definitely related with aduni in this book like if you are someone who has wanted to you know you're determined to strive against difficult circumstances to make it in life and whatever make it in life means for you but this is a lovely book because it actually depicts lagos well and the characters helped to bring it to life so despite the seemingly insurmountable so obstacles in her path aduni never loses sight of the goal of escaping the life of poverty she was born into so that she can build the future she chooses for herself and help other girls like her to do the same her spirited determination to find joy and hope in even the most difficult circumstances imaginable will break your heart and then put it together again even as aduni shows us how one courageous young girl can inspire us all to reach for our dreams and maybe even change the world i really liked it my next recommendation of 
book set in Lagos is My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyin Brightweight. This was also another popular book that made the rounds across the book community, across people that didn't read, across the globe basically. Me, I liked the book, no problem. The ending, I was like, Oyinko, what's going on? Where is the last page of my book or where are the last three pages of the book? I was almost about to call the bookstore to tell them to take back this book and then give me a book that actually, that actually, <laughs> a book that is actually complete because I was about to start going crazy. But yeah, I thought it was nice. It was also set in Lagos too. And the plot was very interesting. Very, very interesting plot. Um, I really did like it. When Corey Day's dinner is interrupted one night by a distress call from her sister, Ayola, she knows what's expected of her bleach rubber gloves nerves of steel and a strong stomach this will be the third boyfriend ayola's dispatched in quote self-defense and the third mess that her little little sibling has left corridor to clear away she should probably go to the police for the good of the men folk of nigeria but she loves her sister and as they say family always comes first until that is ayola starts dating the doctor where Corrida works as a nurse. Corrida's long been in love with him and isn't prepared to see him wind up with a knife in his back, but to save one would mean sacrificing the other. So it's like a comic novel, like, you know, it's like a thriller kind of comic novel. It's also set in Lagos. It's beautifully written. I just had an issue with the end. I'm just like, what's going on here? Like, Oyinkong, what's happening? What's happening? What's going on here? That was how I felt. Anyway, my next recommendation of a book set in Lagos is The Spider King's Daughter by Chibundo Onuzo. I don't know why this Chibundo Onuzo, I feel like she always has amazing ideas and plots, but the delivery always is like, eh. this was one book, however, that I think I did a book review on it. If I did, I will link it in the description box below. But this was one book that I actually really kind of enjoyed. Most especially, I liked the plot of the book, but I liked the way Lagos was brought to life in this book. And I like the dynamic mix between Abike who is like a 17 year old rich girl living in a sprawling mansion in Lagos where everywhere there's armed guards there's like a huge black jeep that carries her around there's gardens there's a mansion and then she falls in love or kind of falls in like with this 18 year old hawker who is on the streets of Lagos and one thing I loved about this book was the fact that it made you see the especially if you live in Lagos or you've known a lot about Lagos you see a lot of street hawkers selling look in Lagos you can find a car wash in traffic there are people who go around with buckets of soapy water that are going to wash your car in traffic like in Lagos traffic you can find anything you can find magicians performing on the art so that on the street so that people will actually give them money but typical street hawkers you'll find maybe it's like sachet water water that is packed in sachets or you find biscuits or sweets or snacks or soda you guys call it soda mineral drinks those type of things in plastic bottles you find ice cream sachet ice cream you find different types of things you could find clothes toys Think about it. On a normal day in Nigeria, in any state in Nigeria, in traffic, you can find most of these things. But in Lagos traffic, you tend to find a lot more things that you'll be like, wait, what? So I like the fact that this novel actually, you know, made you see things from the perspective of a street hawker. Like these two worlds on a normal day don't have any business together. They would never really intersect. But in this book, it brought these two different far apart worlds in Lagos together and it was actually really really lovely and a lot of things now were uncovered which was so man I like I said amazing plot amazing storyline the execution for me was a little bit off and there were a lot of things that just made me off about it like some weird typos and editing style I feel like half of the book the editor just gave up and was like oh whatever let's just run with it we have a deadline but I mean it was simply amazing so let me just read out the synopsis because i actually really liked this book 17 year old abike johnson is the favorite child of her wealthy father she lives in a sprawling mansion in lagos protected by armed guards and ferried everywhere in a huge black jeep a world away from abike's mansion in the city slums lives an 18 year old hawker struggling to make sense of the world his family lost everything after his father's death and now he sells ice cream at the side of the road to support his mother and sister. When Abike 
buys ice cream from the hawker one afternoon, they strike up a tentative and unlikely romance. But as they grow closer, revelations from the past threaten their relationship and both Abike and the hawker must decide where their loyalties lie. I liked it. Beautiful description of Lagos. Lagos come to life through the pages. So yeah, you can check it out. My next recommendation is Easy Motion Tourist by Leye Adenle. This is the part one of the Amaka thriller. I have the part two on my bookshelf, which for whatever reason I have not read. I don't know why. But I actually really liked this. I like this Lagos thriller, this thing. It was actually very, very interesting to me because I don't read a lot of books like this that are set in Lagos. So why I actually really like this book is because it shows a different side of Lagos. It shows like the underbelly, what they call like the underworld of Lagos, where there's a lot of dark and sinister things that happen. And this is like the perfect crime novel to just wrap everything together. So it follows the life of Guy Collins, who is like a British um, person, personnel who comes to Nigeria, I think for work, whether he's a reporter or something like that. And by chance one night he goes out maybe for a drink and i love the description of lagos because i could literally imagine all these places that the author was writing come to life because i've actually visited some of these places myself and so this guy is basically on the street i think maybe easing himself or something like that and then next minute there is a dead body that is found around this is like lagos nightlife like where there's prostitutes where there's drinking of beer there's like bars and lounges there's all this type of different things that go on and this guy is picked up as a suspect and it's made to it's made for people to believe that yeah he actually had something to do with it he's then rescued by somebody called amaka who actually then is like a sort of defender of the prostitutes and women of the night in lagos and who sort of always comes to their rescue like they have her number and she's always there for them and always gets them out of any issues because of course this is a dangerous lifestyle that these women need so amaka is kind of the one that like defends them and so amaka gets him out of this struggle and just basically shows him lagos underworld and he is just overwhelmed at everything of course he starts to fall for her but then there's a lot of things that happen in this book i remember reading this book and actually enjoying the fact that it was a crime novel and the fact that it was set in lagos and i love the way the author brought lagos to life i know that at some point i started getting overwhelmed because there were quite a number of characters and i just felt like a lot of characters were not necessary and it began to get a little bit more complicated than it should have actually been especially towards the end but i did a review on it so you guys can actually check that out but i'll definitely definitely recommend it my next recommendation is americana by chimamanda ngozi adichie i'm including this book because this is a Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie stan account and while Americana is set in two different or three is it three different parts I think it's set in America and also set in Lagos too but I like the way she was able to you know portray Lagos when um if Femelu and Obinze eventually reunite after so long. It's a nice book if you want to read it. Um, towards, I, I mean, the end, I was like, come on, like, what's going on here? Chimamanda. Chimamanda and all these weird endings where you're like, how far now? Like, what happened? Do you understand? And we read this book as book club um, uh, meet pick. I don't know for whatever reason why I had not read it or whether I had started it and I had not read it. That one and half of the Yellow Sun, I'm actually trying to, you know, I was actually trying to read them. So I got the opportunity to read this one because we chose it as book club pick. But yeah, um, if, if Emelu and Obinze are young and in love when they depart military rule Nigeria for the West. Beautiful, self-assured, if Emelu heads to America where despite her academic su success, she's forced to grapple with what it means to be black for the first time. Quiet thoughts who Obinze had hoped to join her but with post 9-11 america close to him he instead plunges into a dangerous undocumented life in london 15 years later they reunite in a newly democratic nigeria and reignite their passion for each other and for their homeland so yes some parts of it set in lagos beautifully written as well because it's chimamanda my next recommendation is love's persuasion by ola awonobi i actually enjoyed this book this is a 
fiction romance book um if you are looking for something light and romantic and just something that will make you smile and be like oh my goodness whatever this is perfect i think i did a book review on it as well um ola awonubi is a fantastic romance romance author and she has all these little bite-sized romance books that they have um published and i really like the way she was able to bring lagos to life in this book so things are changing for the staff of lagos firm city finance and not necessarily for the best and for Ada Okafo, a bright, dedicated, and beautiful trainee accountant, the only change worth noticing is the dash, dashing British change new as, assistant uh, managing director, Tony Okoli. Ambitious and determined, Ada ignores her feelings for Tony and focuses on juggling her work in accounts with completing her degree in business and finance. But their love of books draws them closer and soon they fall passionately in love. They soon discover that the course of love does not run smooth and a host of obstacles from... Tony's disapproving family to jealous colleagues litter their path. Their passion for each other is truly tested as they fight to persuade themselves and the world that love in the end trumps social status. So yes, it's a nice romance book. I enjoyed it, by the way, and it brings Lagos to life. So yes, so thank you so much for getting to the end of my part two of my book set in lagos recommendations like i said let me know in the comments if there are any of these books that you have read let me know if you have more books that are set in lagos that you enjoy so that i can add them to my never ending tbr don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video and i will see you in my next one bye